Hey, what's up everyone? Gerard here with today's Daily Shave video. Today we're going to be shaving with the club's Poison Hemlock. And so this is uh, from uh, the Shaving Shop Club uh, um, and this is in their wonderful uh, brand new uh, Kaizen 2E or K2E base. Um, this is a tallow based, um, I, I don't even, you can't even just say tallow, this has so many things in there. Uh, we're looking at stuff like tallow, goat's milk, um, there's yogurt, there's uh, manteca, uh, obviously the addition of emu oil, as well as a bunch of other great ingredients. Um, looking forward to using that for you today. Um, I do have it with the matching splash. Uh, as you can see here. All right, and uh, I already have it loaded uh, here. This is a uh, Heritage Collection Shaving Simon. Uh, this is one of the older brushes, but you can see some of um, their brushes right now uh, on West Coast Shaving on the website. And so Heritage uh, Collection Shaving, they take um, vintage designs uh, from companies uh, long gone and kind of just, you know, bringing them uh, and making them anew, uh, making uh, some offerings available for people who are a fan of that kind of vintage look and everything, all right? Uh, Razor-wise, uh, going to be using, again, the West Coast Shaving. This is the Hollywood Palm handle, uh, stainless steel handle, with the a uh, chrome-plated uh, lithe head. This is a um, design from Charcoal Goods. You can kind of see with that pyramid kind of slope cap on there. And so, yeah, and I have a uh, Gillette Silver Blue on here. Okay, so let's go for it. All right, so start earlier. I'm going to wet face a little bit. As you can see, I already kind of loaded, so we'll just go right into it. And so... This soap base is the latest. Is it the greatest? Maybe for now. Um, from Peter Charcalis, uh, who has the Shaving Shop Club. Also, um, Ariana and Evans. And I'm just going to tell you right now, this is just a very, very luxurious soap. I mean, I think my last video um, I posted, I used Vita After Dark. That was in their vegan base, VR1 base. Fantastic soap. Um, the towel offering here or the, the non-vegan offering here is just absolutely beautiful. Um, just lathers incredibly well, incredibly su superb sheen. And I mean, you can just see it in here. Like, if I just go in here and I can just work it. But... It has been two days since my last shave. I don't have a lot to work, but I'll have enough to. But you can just see it. Just absolutely killer soap. Alright, so, notes wise, alright, again, here's the list, so there's Blood Orange, Bergamot, Black Currant, Fig, Rose Absolute, Violet, Black Hemlock Absolute, Incense, pine, or pine tar, cedar, cedar wood, and sandalwood. So, like in the other video, you're probably hearing all this and just like, you're just like, Gerard, just, does it smell good? Yeah, it does. Um, 
I'm just gonna make the comparison because I shaved with it recently with Vita After Dark. Um, I kind of mentioned Vita After Dark is kind of like dark, boozy, slightly sweet. This is more dark, floral, slightly sweet. And I don't mean that, I think some people maybe hear like the rose absolute and be turned off. This is not a rose scent. Um, what is the smell of hemlock? It is kind of intoxicating in the whole, you know, like hemlock is a poisonous, is poisonous, but isn't that like with so many things, you smell something that's kind of alluring and that's what kind of pulls you in. It's kind of what this smells like. It smells like something trying to draw you in. First pass for the ice. All right. I'm gonna just kind of go lightly on the touch-up pass. Not really gonna go for three passes. I go against the grain slash. Just feel the spots. Um, this soap is. Fantastic, you just, it's incredibly slick. As you can see, just the, sh the sheen is just on there. Performs very well. Scent strength is, is it's up there. Eight out of 10, nine out of 10. I mean, it, it packs a punch. Um, I will say, and I don't know how many people are gonna like, kind of just take this into account. Um, you can't really smell this off the tub and just come to any conclusions um, because once it's lathered, it just opens up and I'm sure the matching splash even more so. But it's just, it's very nice. You can see I'm kind of like, you know, buffing and going over spots. Just sounds like, um, sounds like Velcro. And everything, but it smells quite nice. Very, yeah, residual slickness. I can just wet my hand a little bit, go over here, and that might be enough for just a few of these. Just killer, absolutely killer. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, very lovely shade. Um, again, comparing it, and I don't mean to particularly compare it, but I just think it's appropriate because it's around the same time I'm doing these videos. So, I mentioned like Meet After Dark is something like you could wear like on night out in Mexican Riviera, maybe like a cocktail in your hand, just something that smells really nice, right? You could wear this at like any formal occasion. I mean, this is just, it's really kind of suited for that. Very versatile, I, I, I would say. Um, you could wear this like during the daytime as well. Um, the florals are, are very, you know, they're very much masculine. The woodiness from the, the, I think the cedar wood, the sandalwood, even the incense, a little bit of the spiciness. It, it tones down those floral notes a lot. Cause I don't want to say this is, um, a floral so it doesn't smell like completely like flowers 
It doesn't smell completely like the blood orange or the black currant or the fig. You know, it's not necessarily overly sweet. It has bits of sweetness, bits of florals, bits of like kind of rounded, darker notes. And so it just the accord is just very, very pleasant, very, I would say very versatile for many occasions. Okay, so I'm going to be using the aftershave splash here. Um, I think it's uh, sim the similar formula to the other one. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Alcohol base. We have it's aloe vera, um, aloe vera forward, and then there's a bunch of other stuff in here as well. We have vegetable glycerin, rose water, uh, calendula extract, chamomile, white willow bark, a lot, vitamin E, a bunch of stuff in here. It's very thin, very nice. Okay. So I'm expecting the aloe to be very soothing. Um, I mean, I know there might be a sting, and as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, it's like, again, kind of milky. Um, there is like, like, I would say a certain tinge to it, like almost like a, like a greenish tinge, like a, like a herb, herbal tinge. Oh, oh, all right, the splash. Hello. Little bit of sting from the alcohol, but not, not crazy, but wow. Blood orange, um, very like upfront, dark citrusy. Um, hemlocks and I can see, I can get the hemlock. I'm getting some of that violet but just opens up kind of with a, like a dark citrus. And that, that rose, that hemlock is, is just kind of like, I guess you can say, you know, if someone's maybe taking off their hat with that blood orange, then the coat of the, the rose, the, the black hemlock especially, is just kind of present. Very, very present. Very, very nice. Um, matte feel, like almost like like a not, yeah, like a matte feel. Not like completely dry. Feels very nice on the skin. Doesn't feel too oily. I know there's, like, I think, a couple of like stuff like that in there. But really, really nice. Again, str like strong. Very, very present. Maybe 8 out of 10. Maybe, maybe stronger as far as notes. Don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe at least a couple of hours. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I'd be surprised, you know, if it went more than like four hours in the splash. It's not a, it's not a fragrance, but it's just definitely present. Like if you're gonna have, like maybe go to brunch, or go to lunch, and you want, and you want something that'll kind of be known. Hey, it's right there. But that was it. Hope you enjoyed very much. So that poison hemlock uh, from the club. Really beautiful soap. Beautiful formula. Um, this feels really, really excellent. But that's it. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know. Let me know down below. Um, try to respond to them. I did. Res I think. I think I'm behind. I did respond to uh, the last video. Um, you know, in the first few days, it was uploaded. But uh, this one, you know, I'll try to. I'll, I'll try to be ever present. But that was it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.